Dave August Vulture. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to another review video. Today I am joined by Sinead McCrowhead. And today we will be reviewing <laughs> Club Tropicana. As usual, this review is purely mine and Sinead's opinion. So don't get like butthurt if you don't agree with it or whatever like that because it's just our opinion and we're not professionals in the review industry. Club Tropicana is a musical written by Michael Gingle and it starred the X Factor winner, Joe McKeldry. Wakanda. Club Tropicana is a show about a man and woman named Ollie and Lorraine who are about to get married. However, Lorraine gets cold feet and leaves him at the altar. As a way for their friends to make them feel better, they decide to book uh, the bride, who was meant to be the bride and who was meant to be the groom, um, a holiday and they book to go to Club Tropicana in whatever country it is. I don't think they specify. No, it's like Spain so, or something. Similar like to like the Costa del Sol sort of thing. Um, but each party are unaware that the others are going. Uh, meanwhile, at Club Tropicana, there is um, a lady who works at the hotel called Serena, and she's in love with Robert, who runs the hotel. And we also see Gary there, who was played by Joe McKeldry. Um, so you can kind of guess what happens. Um, the hotel is running as usual, and they're actually expecting an inspector to come and kind of break the hotel, like almost like a mystery shopper. Um, so the hotel are really anxious, and they're really conscious that every guest that comes in could be the inspector. And this guest comes in, Christine, who they suspect is going to be the, the person um, rating them. So they're trying to impress Christine. Meanwhile, the lads come with uh, Ollie, who was the groom, and then the girls turn up with Lorraine, who was the bride. And uh, yeah, stuff starts to unfold then when they all get together. Lorraine has a friend named Tracy who likes to lie a lot to her friend and that's the reason really why Lorraine and Ollie don't get married at the beginning. Um, Tracy then starts and tries actually to get in there with Ollie. Ollie obviously not interested because he's interested in Lorraine. And at the end of the show then Lorraine and Ollie find out that Tracy has been lying the whole time and they end up back together again. Um, in the meantime Christine, the inspector, isn't actually an inspector. She is working for another hotel on the same like strip of hotels trying to get info on why um, they're so popular or maybe just trying to get rid of the hotel. I think she was just trying to sabotage yeah, them because she wanted to, to win uh, the best hotel for her own hotel. So this leads us on to our first topic which is characters. Sinead, who was your favourite character in Club Tropicana? Adam, I'd have to say that uh, Serena was my favourite character in Club Tropicana because I thought she had a lot of great songs, her storyline was really sweet um, and she was actually one of the sugar babes in a previous life and she had a brilliant voice. I I think Serena was a great character as well. Like we said earlier on, Serena is one of the people who works at the hotel. I think my favourite would have to probably be Consuela, because Consuela for me was just really, really funny. She was not an underrated character, but there was a lot of um, impressions she would make, especially when it came to like impersonating people from Ireland. She was from Ring's End at one stage, which was quite funny. So um, I quite enjoyed Consuela. My least favourite character though in the whole thing, I think we can both agree on this, was Christine. Christine, like we said, is the um, inspector, villain. Villain. the villain of the whole show, but I just found her to be quite annoying. Obviously that's not the actress's fault, like the actress did a great job of being annoying, but the character itself is just a really, really annoying kind of character. You're meant to hate her. You're meant to hate her, yeah. So she did really well, but I really did not like that character. And a special mention to Joe McKelgy, the star of the show, who plays Gary, the entertainer of the hotel. I personally thought Joe McKelgy was excellent, he was really really funny, and he actually reminded me, or he made me feel like I was watching a pantomime the whole time I was watching, because he was just really lively on stage, he was jumping around the place, um, and he did really, as he, his job is, entertain. Um, his first appearance is actually quite interesting, because he first comes in when the gang are going are in, are in like Stansted or Gatwick Airport going on their holidays um, and the like curtain drops cloaked up a kind of logo on it and he comes out and he sings I just can't get enough and it's really weird because he gets all the audience to stand up at the start of the show to sing and dance mm. which is usually like a finale kind of thing which I quite enjoy because um, you don't usually get that in musicals and, and the just, old ones loved it and the old ones loved it lapped it up so next we will be talking about our favourite songs in the show. Club Tropicana is all 80s music, it's a uh, jukebox musical, so 
like I said, it's all 80s music and it's really, really great. So I don't actually have a least favorite song because I loved all the music in it. Uh, my favorite song would be from Act 2 though. It's when Ollie and Lorraine sing an acoustic version of Take On Me by Aha. And it was really, really, really good. Really, really nice. And man could sing. He could hit those notes. He was really, really amazing. I also quite liked um, The Lion Sleeps Tonight when is when Tracy tries to get in there with Ollie. Um, obviously, The Lion Sleeps Tonight um, sang by Timon and Pumba from The Lion King. Um, I quite enjoyed that as well. I thought that was a really funny, strange to watch scene, but really, really funny. Mm -hmm. um, I think my favourite song was quite early on. Um, what well, they do a mashup of... Uh, oops upside your head they do too shy and they do physical and it was kind of when each new guest was coming into the hotel they all had a little sing song and stuff um but yeah i really enjoyed that i wasn't sure on the slow version of take on me i couldn't really Interesting. take it seriously to be honest i was kind of just going this is really weird that this like doo -doo 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 -doo, it's been sung like really slowly and like it was meant to be a very like intense and passionate moment and I, I just couldn't feel that because of the song. They could have picked any other song from the 80s yeah. <laughs> and they chose that. I quite enjoyed it. It was a new kind of style and take on, take on me. So, choreography. We're actually very lucky today in this video because Sinead here is a choreographer in our musical society. She choreographs our kids chorus but she's also choreographed in college as well. And for a small group that I mentioned in the last review video, Broadway Cabaret Club. So, uh, I'll let Sinead talk about the choreography in this show. Yeah, I thought the choreography was great. Um, they had, I think, six chorus members, or six or eight, but a lot of the times they would pair up the boys and the girls. There's an awful lot of partner work, which is really cool, and I was inspired with a lot of the lifts that they did and stuff. I would have never seen them before. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of energy, and almost every song had a dance to it, so those chorus members were super fit. Um, the principals didn't do much dancing, but uh, there was a lot of great big numbers when they were in um, the kind of nightlife uh, part of the club, of Club Tropicana, where they would have the kind of evening barbecue slash karaoke thing. There was a couple of big group numbers that they were all involved with, a lot of changing lines and formations and stuff, which was really, it kept you engaged the whole time. There was a flip as well, and I love a good flip in a show. Um, so some guy, like towards the end of the show, just did a flip for a laugh and I love that. I just think it's so fun and cool when you watch someone just do a backflip on stage. So next we'll go on to our music society. Sinead is also a member of Battle Music Society like myself and like Sinead McCona was in the last video. And we said that we would love to do it in BMS but it wouldn't suit us. Rocky Horror Picture Show, sorry this is. We'd love to do it but it wouldn't suit us. Sinead, would you, do you think Club Shop Accountant would be a good show for Baldoyle Musical Society to do. Absolutely. I think as an amateur musical society show it would be unbelievable. Um, it's similar in style and tone to All Shook Up in that there's an awful lot of singing and dancing for chorus. Um, it's not a very principal heavy show. You know, if the principal has a duet or a solo straight after it's going to be a chorus number. Um, yeah, I think it'd be brilliant for Baldoyle to do. Yeah, I think it'd be great as well if we did it. I just think it's a really, really fun show that everyone obviously just really enjoys doing, uh, watching on stage. Unlike the Rocky Horror Show, I actually think Baldo and Music Study would be able to do it. Or not just us, but anywhere really would be able to do it because it has loads of parts and loads of songs, loads of dancing, loads of singing. So it's something there for everyone and it's not like limited to a certain amount of chorus either. You can have as many, probably more is probably yeah. better. Um. I think, yeah, I just kind of lost a bit of interest. Uh, it was, st I still did enjoy it though. I didn't sit there and want to leave. Um, but also I think maybe we're just slightly too young for the, all of the songs. I mean, I knew a lot of them. Yeah, we're 90s babies, so we're not 80s babies. And like late 90s. Late well. 90s, very yeah. late 90s. So, um, I mean, my dad and his generation, and all, like it was an older crowd there, they yeah. all really enjoyed it because they knew every song that came on, every impression that Consuela did, they knew. A lot of the times I didn't know who she was doing or I didn't know only a handful of songs, but it, you know, it's, it is a sort of show that's riding on its songs. It's not yeah. riding on the story, so if you're not really sure of the songs and you can't really get into it, then it's just like a bit of a karaoke gig or something. But uh, no, I, it was, it was good overall. Not a out of ten, maybe six and a half. Six, six and a half, okay. Well, what I thought about the show was, I thought it was a really fun show. Definitely really, really enjoyable. The story was cheesy. It was a really, really cheesy story. Just, you know, two people don't get married. They end up going to the exact same hotel. 
and they end up together at the end. And meanwhile, there's those shenanigans going on while they're at the hotel. It was just a really cheesy show. Music was really, really good. Like there wasn't a one, it wasn't a single song there where I felt myself drifting off or being bored watching or listening to. Sorry, but out of ten, I think I'd give it maybe a four or five. Ooh. Um, I think probably it was one of the worst shows I saw on the board, gosh, but like I really like it was fun I like I think I enjoyed it because it was so fun, but yeah, I didn't enjoy the show what, It depends what you're into. I mean yeah. my dad loved that. He probably wouldn't like maybe Les Mis or Miss Saigon as much because yeah. it's, they're a bit depressing, you know, so it just depends on what you're into I think yeah, but the thing is as well like as Sinead said I did find myself drifting off not towards the end though, like maybe a little bit even earlier than that. I just felt myself drifting off because the music, like I said, was great, but the storyline was just, like Sinead said, it was very predictable, um, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but it was very predictable and I was just kind of waiting for it to ha uh, um, end. Also, the showing that I saw started at half eight, so it was like a later start. So by the time we got out, it was nearly 11 o'clock at night, so maybe it was just maybe tiredness and how are we gonna get home afterwards that I was thinking of, but um. It was enjoyable. It was really enjoyable. Maybe four or five out of ten, though. So, Sinead, would you recommend this show to somebody else to see? Um, yeah, if they were looking for a show that was in the board, gosh, at the minute, I wouldn't tell them not to go and see it. Um, but say it was on the West End and there's a yeah. handful of other shows, I would that wouldn't be the first one that I'd say. Um, I wouldn't be recommended maybe bringing children to it, I just think it would be lost on them a little bit, because uh, there's a lot of references in it to the 80s. Um, so it would be more to maybe an older crowd, or I teach hen parties sometimes, um, I teach them dancing, so if they asked me for a musical I could recommend that. It, it, it's, it's sort of thing, actually a lot of hen parties were there when I was yeah. there, and like groups and stuff. So. I think. I would definitely maybe recommend it to people who were born pre-80s. Um, also maybe like, if you're over the age of 20 years old, I think you won't be really that bored of it. I think you will enjoy most of it. Um, it's also a cheap night as well. The ticket for me only costs 30 euro, or costs Sinead 35 euro. So it's like a really, really cheap show to see. And it's a fun night out as well. Like what else would you be doing on a Friday, Saturday, midweek night? Like, you know, or maybe you, on the weekends you'd be doing something different. For during the week, maybe you wouldn't be doing anything. Oh, yeah, week, yeah, for 30 euro, 35 euro, it's a steal, and you're guaranteed to have a good night and just a lot of laughs. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend going, or I would definitely recommend this show to somebody else. Like Sinead said, if it was on West End or Broadway, it would probably be the last show, or very low on the list of shows I'd want to see. But I would think I would definitely recommend for the board gosh if someone wanted to go over in Ireland. And that is the end of the review. Thank you very much Sinead for tagging along and coming down to review Club Tropicana. Um, if you enjoyed please leave a like and if you haven't already subscribe because we're starting to raise and we're starting to get a few comments that people are like giving good feedback. So thank you very much. Shout out to Evelyn Lamb. I don't know who you are Evelyn but thank you very much for your comments in the last couple of videos. Anyway, thank you very much, <laughs> Evelyn. Shout out to you. If you enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next vlog, which will be posted maybe Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. We also have a newer video, video, re video, review video, review video, review video of Copper's Copperface Jacks <laughs> the Musical with, oh, with, to be confirmed. We'll see you next Ooh. week. Goodbye. Bye. Oh my god, I just know.